Hey friends, Ms. Cassie here with Solon Public Library's Digital Storytime. This Storytime is actually our 100th Digital Storytime, which is wild if you think about it. But the great thing about that is that you can watch all 100 of our digital story times on our website or on our YouTube channel. So when you're looking for something fun to do and it's maybe a little too cold to play outside, pull up digital story time and watch any one of our back episodes. But this month we're talking all about friendship and this week, we are going to read some books about making new friends. But first, we need to sing our welcome song and we need to get our clapping hands ready. So we're going to wiggle our fingers and shake our hands and rub them together really fast, really fast, really fast and put them on our knees. Okay, here we go. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. What do we do after we clap our hands? That's right, we stomp our feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. What do we do after we stomp our feet? That's right, we twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, twirl around. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, twirl around. All right, for our last verse, we're going to be as quiet as we can. And we're going to whisper, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper, hooray, hooray. If you want to read a book, whisper, hooray, hooray. If you want to read a book, have a seat and take a look. If you want to read a book, whisper, hooray, Our theme song this month is Friend of Mine, and we are going to do some clapping, some tapping, some shrugging, and some smiling. Are you ready? Here we go. Will you be a friend of mine? Friend of mine, friend of mine, will you be a friend of mine and clap along with me? Ready? Will you be a friend of mine, friend of mine, friend of mine, will you be a friend of mine and tap your nose with me? Got it? Will you be a friend of mine, friend of mine, Friend of mine, will you be a friend of mine and shrug your shoulders with me? Yeah, nice and big. <laughs> will you be a friend of mine? Friend of mine, friend of mine, will you be a friend of mine and smile big with me? Yay! Our first book today is called Odd Bird written and illustrated by Derek Desierto. So let's look at the cover of this book. Which of these birds do you think is considered the odd bird? Do you think it's one of the very colorful birds on the one side? Or do you think it's the little gray bird on the other side? Let's find out. It was a hot day in the jungle. The birds were at the pool, but none of them were swimming. Hmm, I wonder why. 
All they cared about was showing off their fabulous feathers. Ooh, ah. <laughs> but then another bird appeared. His feathers weren't colorful. He was an odd bird. And he was hot after a long flight to the pool. And he was excited to finally cool off. As he dipped his toes into the water, he felt everyone's eyes on him. What do you think the other birds are thinking? They're probably wondering why this bird is getting in the pool when no one else is, right? He has no color, said one bird. Are those even feathers, said another. All the birds agreed that Odd Bird didn't belong there. Oh, look at Odd Bird. What is he doing? Yeah. He's crying. How do you think he feels inside? Yeah, sad. Can you make a sad face? Yeah. Makes you feel sad when people tell you that you can't be someplace that you want to be. Out, 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 yelled the other birds. An odd bird flew away as fast as he could. That wasn't very kind. Oddbird had always looked like this. His feathers were his feathers. Why was that a problem for the other birds? As he hopped around the jungle, he noticed how much color was all around him, and he had an idea. Back at the pool, the birds were trying to relax when suddenly there was a tweet in the crowd that someone knew had arrived. It was a fabulous bird with colors galore. We know that bird. What bird is that? Yeah, it's Odd Bird, all dressed up with colors from the jungle. Oh my goodness, can you believe those feathers? Look at that blue. I need that fancy swimsuit. All of the birds are admiring Oddbird in his new outfit. And Oddbird was so relieved. His new feathers meant that the other birds didn't recognize him. And they loved the way he looked. Oddbird had never felt more confident. Can you show me what confidence looks like? Can you hold your head up high? Maybe put your hand on your, on your hips. Proud and confident. <laughs> so Oddbird strutted to the diving board and the other birds were shocked and confused. Wait, what is he doing? Is he going to get wet? What about his gorgeous feathers? And from the top of the diving board, Oddbird counted. Ready, let's count together. One. <laughs> Two, three, go! And he dove into the pool. The water felt fine. So cool, so refreshing. But what happened to Oddbird's feathers? That's right, all of his jungle feathers that he decorated himself with came off in the pool. But Oddbird was so happy to swim that he didn't notice that his feathers were falling off. Wait, is that? Actually, that looks refreshing and cool, say the other birds. And Oddbird was having too much fun to be worried. So one by one, the other birds jumped into the pool and their feathers got frizzy and their colors became a little more dull. But no one cared anymore about those things. What was more important was how they felt. Oh, this is so much better. 
Thank you, Odd Bird. We should have done this earlier. And they felt happy. <laughs> the end. What do you think about that story? Was it easy for Odd Bird to make new friends? Not at first, right? But when Odd Bird was able to be himself and jump into the pool, he showed the other birds that it's okay to enjoy yourselves and not worry so much about what other people think and do something fun because you want to. <laughs> All right, friends, we're going to sing Do As I'm Doing, and we are going to follow the leader. I'm going to be the leader, just like Odd Bird was the leader to the other birds around the swimming pool. So we're going to take our hands and we're going to uh, uh, twirl them around each other just like this. You got it? All right, here we go. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. If I do it high or low, if I do it fast or slow, do as I'm doing, follow, follow me. Do as I'm doing, Follow, follow me. Yay! Okay, I have some best friends. Do you recognize these best friends? That's right, it's Piggy and Gerald. <laughs> and we're gonna play a game where Piggy is hiding from Gerald in one of these books. And we are gonna try to find which book Piggy is hiding in. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, we're gonna say this rhyme. Piggy, piggy, where could you be? Are you hiding in the yellow book? Let's look and see. <gasps> nope, no piggy in the yellow book. Let's see, which one should we look behind next? Ooh, maybe this one. <laughs> Piggy, piggy, where could you be? Are you hiding in the red book? Let's look and see. <gasps> nope, no piggy. Hmm, what about the orange book? Piggy, piggy, where could you be? Are you hiding in the orange book? Let's look and see. Still no piggy. All right, let's see which one of these three books do we think Piggy is hiding in? Should we try the blue book? All right. Piggy, Piggy, where could you be? Are you hiding in the blue book? Let's look and see. Oh, there she is. <laughs> All right, should we play one more time? Let's do it. Okay, should we start with the purple book this time? Okay. Piggy, piggy, where could you be? Are you hiding in the purple book? Let's look and see. <gasps> no piggy. Mm, should we check the blue book again? <laughs> Let's do it. Piggy, piggy, where could you be? Are you hiding in the Blue book, let's look and see. Nope, no piggy. Hmm, what about, should we do the whole top row? Should we check in the green book? All right, piggy, piggy, where could you be? Are you hiding in the green book? Let's look and see. Nope, no piggy. Hmm. Which of these three books do you think Piggy is hiding in? Should we try the yellow book? All right. Piggy, Piggy, where could you be? Are you hiding in the yellow book? Let's look and see. <gasps> Yay! There she is. <laughs> 
Good job, friends. Our last book today is Pete the Cat, Making New Friends. And this book is written and illustrated by Kimberly and James Dean, and it is an I Can Read Comics book. So we've got some panels. Panels are the boxes in comics. And we have some word bubbles, which we're familiar with from the last book that we read. And we see those a lot more in picture books now, too, than we used to. Here we go. Meet secret agent Meow. Who is that? Yeah, it's Pete the Cat. He's dressed up as a secret agent. And secret agent Meow is also known as Pete the Cat. Gizmo Watch, what new case do we have today? When there's a mystery, agent Meow is always on the case. And a new case falls into agent Meow's lap. So here we see Squirrel up in the tree and Squirrel says, I want to play, but no one wants to play with me. Raise your hand if that has ever happened to you. Yeah, me too. So frustrating, right? And so Pete thinks squirrel is lonely, but maybe I can help. Don't worry, squirrel, I'm on the case. And squirrel says, what? Who are you? What case? <laughs> I am Agent Meow. I will help you make new friends. Come to my office. You wanna help me? That's awesome. But how? Asks Squirrel. What do you think? How is Agent Meow gonna help Squirrel make some new friends? Maybe Agent Meow will invite Squirrel to come play with him and his friends. Or maybe Agent Meow knows some people who would be good friends for Squirrel. I don't know, let's find out. Agent Meow says, I will help you with my amazing gizmo watch, of course. Of course, that wasn't even one of my guesses. What do you like to do, Squirrel? I like to roller skate, and I like to tap dance, and I love to draw. Hmm, time to crack this case. Let's see, I don't know anyone who roller skates, so Agent Meow asks his gizmo watch for a clue. And the watch shows him a frog on a skateboard. Grumpy loves to skateboard. Hmm. I don't know anyone who tap dances. So Agent Meow asks his gizmo watch for another clue. But Callie the cat loves ballet. It's another kind of dance. I don't know anyone who draws, but his gizmo watch tells him that Emma dog loves to paint. So these things are close, but not exactly what Squirrel likes to do, right? But Pete the Cat says, meow, I've got it. Come with me. So they get their binoculars and they see Grumpy the Frog skateboarding. And Squirrel says, that's not roller skating. And Pete the Cat says, you're right, but you and Grumpy both love to roll. <laughs> And then they have a little drone video <laughs> that peeks in on Callie the cat as she's dancing ballet. And Squirrel says, that's not tap dancing. And Pete the cat says, right, but both you and Callie love to dance. Then they get in Pete the cat's special spy helicopter and they see <laughs> Emma the dog painting a mural on the side of a building. And Squirrel says, that's not drawing. And Pete says, you're right, but both you and Emma love to make art. Hmm. Are you ready to make new friends? I can try, says Squirrel. 
And moments later, Squirrel is roller skating while Grumpy the Frog skateboards. And Grumpy says, hey, do you want to swap? So they do. And they both say, cool. They tried something new together, didn't they? And Pete the Cat says, neat. A little while later, Squirrel is tap dancing while Callie is doing ballet. And Callie the cat says, do you want to swap? So they do. And they both say, awesome. And Pete says, bravo. A little while after that, Emma the dog says, do you want to try painting? And Squirrel says, let's try it together. Voila! <laughs> Groovy, says Pete, and he takes a picture of them in front of their beautiful mural. When you are lonely and don't know what to do, try to find someone who enjoys the same things as you. Thank you, Agent Meow, says Squirrel. New friends are easy to find if you know how to look for them. And so Secret Agent Meow solves another case. Case closed. <laughs> this is the end of our Making New Friends story time. I hope you got some ideas for how you can make new friends, both as someone who's looking to make new friends and as someone who might be the recipient of someone else looking to make new friends, right? Sometimes new friends come and approach us at the playground and we aren't even looking for them. How lucky are we? <laughs> but now it's time for our goodbye song. We read a book and we played a game and we sang a song together. Bye.